Abigail Cano. Let's load them up. We departed Fort Worth ISD uh, en route to Chattanooga in Chickamauga to do a study of the Civil War battle with 48 cadets, a uh, 10 cadre member, to conduct our staff ride, the Battle of Chickamauga and Chattanooga. Our next stop will be Catoosa Training Area in Ringgold, Georgia. So when you go inside, you're going to uh, get everybody towards the middle. You'll notice there's going to be an instructor or a chaperone on either side. So in the middle, you have plenty of bunk space. Designate cleanup crews. We've got four briefs this evening. You know, the mission in JROTC is to motivate young people to become better citizens. And that was captured in one of the uh, presentations today where we talked about Major General George Thomas and the fact that he chose his loyalty to the Union over loyalty to the state. Learning these facts in the classroom gives us the knowledge before going to the field knowing what we're going to learn about. So what do soldiers need? They need uniforms. I learned about the Civil War and I've got to handle some of the clothing and supplies soldiers used during that time. Tonight was an introduction to explain how the two armies came to clash in the valley of West Chickamauga Creek you know, on Lookout Mountain and on Missionary Ridge. Yeah, 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 that's <laughs> start out um, here in the Chickamauga Battlefield Visitor Center, see the, uh, the movie that is, uh, is shown, and then we'll spend some time in the exhibit. The cadets will have a chance to uh, look at the exhibits a little bit on their own. Countless young men are faced with difficult decisions. The movie that uh, we show is a uh, summary or an overview of the overall campaign for Chattanooga. The exhibits in this space you'll have a chance to look at on your own. Musket balls were 69 caliber, rifle 54 caliber. I think that actually physically being on the grounds of the events that we are studying about provides a whole different experience than what we're used to in the classroom. Coming towards them is a Union Brigade of 2,300 men. I feel a sense of amazement. I think that these trips are not only necessary, but they're crucial to the learning experiences and the learning opportunities of students. Those Confederates who were attacking at that time. Technologies in those days are definitely, uh, definitely very difficult to be using. We were given examples from a musket rifle to a Spencer rifle. Everybody chose that. We are um, uh, where Rosecrans headquarters was. It actually was a log, uh, double log cabin building that was right here. We are headed to the uh, to the Chattanooga National Cemetery, uh, a high point um, on the uh, the terrain here. Fragments that are filling the air. The place where the Union dead from the fighting around Chattanooga were interred. Before we go out on, into Point Park to take our view off of the mountain and look down on where most of the Battle of Lookout Mountain uh, took place. <laughs> Bragg put his troops on this side of Missionary Ridge, across the valley between Missionary Ridge and Lookout Mountain. We'll actually see where the fighting of those battles took place. Yeah, too slow, too fast, and there were some duds. Well, even that, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is climb down 200 feet in vertical elevation. This gives the students an, an opportunity to actually walk the ground, to actually see and, and, and hear from an expert, National Park Service Ranger. The rock below us is the very tip of um, Lookout Mountain. It was the primary observation point. The Confederates had a signal station there for a while. And then, after Chattanooga is firmly in Union hands, this was the place where thousands of Union soldiers would come to have their photographs taken, have their picture taken on the famous tip of Lookout Mountain. History becomes alive to them. It's, it's not in a textbook. It's a reality to them because they can walk, see the ground, have it explained, and to them, that's reality, and, and, and it's real. 
right there. Oh. It's important that we continue for future generations that appreciation of our American heritage and history. That is one of the prime goals of Cadet Command. We motivate young people to be better citizens, but citizens must be aware of their past.